What is up there guys and welcome to the first episode of my Spurs career mode. Uh, basically my objective for this series is to not get fired because I've tried previous ones and I've been fired about six times. Uh, which is why I've put it on world class because I've tried it on legendary and I got absolutely tonked 5-0 by bloody Liverpool. Uh, but th that's not even the worst part. The worst part is that bloody Glenn Johnson scored the winning goal. I hope you guys enjoy. So when you enter career mode, a bunch of random dudes tell you a bunch of stuff which you're not going to remember. But basically the key detail is that we want to get into the Champions League and we want to go on a cup run, which I think are both possible, so long as I don't screw anything up majorly. So it was then time transfers and I straight away bring back a player who should be brought back in real life, Lewis Holtby. And I then bring back Yedlin to replace Carl Norton. We're still at the club for some reason. I'm not sure why, because we sold him to Swansea in real life. It's then time to get some crap out of the club, starting with Ikotu, Norton and Bongali Kamalo. And then these next players I've put up are basically because I feel we could do better for what they're worth. Uh, start off with Kirikez and Sadado who Sadado is quite good in this game, but he's worth 9.5 mil, which in my opinion could buy someone younger and can develop more. I then decided to do the same with Etienne Capu, who I feel we can do better. So now it was time for me to loan list a couple of players, starting with Ryan Mason, who FIFA have underrated so much to the point I can't actually use him and then I decide to load no, no, list no, no. No, no, no. yeah so I loan list Josh Nomina and then I decide to also loan list Christian Sibaios a Barcelona dude and there's confirmation that our players have returned from loan why on earth Holby isn't in our squad in real life is beyond me but there you go uh, then we get a request for Etienne Capu straight away for 5 mil from Southampton and I counter that to 8 million. You know, we want to get every last penny for these players because they can be used as transfer funds for other players. And then we get a offer for Hugo Lloris for 19.5 mil from Juventus. I tell them hell no! Uh, not sure why I did that but Finally, we get another request from Southampton for Capu for 7 mil. You know, that's above its value, so I didn't just accept that. And we also get a loan list from Blackburn Rovers for Ryan Mason. I accept that straight away. Our next offer is another season loan offer for... So we accept that straight away. And there's confirmation he's been low. We then get another low back burn rovers for Sibios. They've been pretty busy back burn rovers this season taking our loan players. And then we get an offer from Florentina for Luis Holby. I reject that and they're not happening. It's one of my favourite players. And then we get an offer from Aston Villa for Lamella. They offer 7 mil. I up it to 8 mil. And seeing as we've got Lennon and Townsend, you know, I could have kept Lamella, but they go through and accept it, which I was quite surprised, but there you go. Now it was time to buy some players, now we've sold some, and starting off with Martin Braithwaiter from Toulouse FC, you know, he's only 23 and quite quick. And also going for Yuri Sakura, seeing as I'm trying to sell a couple of defenders. And Eurosakura is a really quick and really who can fit into the squad uh, nicely. And we then go in for Ben Uh And I start off with an initial, you know, an initial 19 mil bid. But, you know, they're going to ask for more. But that was just to start off an offer for Ben Teke. Um, so I submit that. And then we go to our first pre-season match against Bilbao. Still done. Um, uh, we win that 1 0 with a goal from Sadado, and um, they accept the offer, Aston Villa accept the offer for Yura Sakura, which I go for his contract, given a squad rotation role, seeing as he's quite young. And then uh, Toulouse come back and tell us they want more, 
So I go to the offer and I submit a new offer of I believe around five mil two thousand I believe yeah five million two thousand and I submit that offer through. See where that goes and then we go to our next preseason match against Paderborn or something. Uh, not really good at pronouncing names and I believe this one finishes two all with goals from Lennon and Palinio. Uh, which, you know, is fair enough, that's only pre-season, we were away at home. Then Eric Dyer suffers a two-month injury from training, from bloody training. What were you doing to him, Pochettino? Uh, well, I suppose I'm manager now. But uh, then we have a bit of a saga with Stoke City for Sedado. And, you know, they put in an initial £8 million bid, and I'm never going to accept that, seeing as now his value is 13.5 mil since he scored a couple of goals pre-season, so I up the value to 13.5 mil, and then I accept Yura Sakura, who accepts the contract, and there's confirmation he's arrived. Uh, Toulouse come back for the offer for Braithwaite, say they want 6 mil, and, you know, seeing as he's quite young, he's quite quick, um, I decide to give them the 6 mil they want, and then there's confirmation he's arrived. We have our final pre-season match against Elka and Lennon scores pretty quick and it finishes a solid 3-0 win to us which is good. And Braithwaite accepts his, um, they accept the offer for Braithwaite and I give him an important team player and you know 40 grand a week I believe. And he accepts that and we have Braithwaite in the club. So Breakfight then accepts his contract and we have and I accept that, meaning we have Martin Breakfight in the club. And then I decide to buy a left me to accompany Chadley, another Belgian bloke. Um uh Yanazai, who's only you know 19 years old and can develop a lot, so of course they're gonna want quite a lot of money. Then QPR, of course it would be QPR with Harry Redknapp in charge by this point. Um, puts in a bid for Ikotu, I up it slightly, you know, hoping we can get that extra penny. Sound like Levy, but um, in the end, um, I just accept the 1.9 they offer me. And then Bayern Munich, of all people, coming for Sadado. I really don't know why they would do that, but there you go. So I counter their 12.5 uh, offer to 13.5. And uh, and they end up accepting that offer, which is good. I then counter the offer because they reject it. Uh, Manu for Yanazai. Uh, I counter it to the 11 mil they want. You know, no fuss there. Um, he can develop quite nicely. So in the end, I submit that. And then an offer comes in for Bongali Kamalo, and he will be missed so much. Bongali Kamalo. And there's confirmation of Kotu sold. Next we got our first game of the season at the bowling ground against West Ham and frankly we should be smashing West Ham in real life and on FIFA in my opinion. You know on FIFA West Ham have got a couple of good strengthy players, you know physical mm, players uh, but you know we should be beating them still uh, but then again it is away at home. Uh, the first real attempt they have ends up being a goal with a beautiful header from Christine Eriksen into the back of our own net, which uh, leaves, gives us a good start to our season. <laughs> I love the way you don't score with his head as it is. Um, anyway, but West Ham keep attacking and attacking, and to be fair, they're unlucky not to score here really, just, you know, a poor attempt. Uh, another class attempt from Andy Carroll, who hits it into the side of the net from the most awkward angle. Not sure even why he tried to shoot from there. But our first attempt comes from Martin Braithwaite, our new signing, who takes a shot pretty, almost outside the box. No real hassle for Adrian. Um, uh, but they just kept attacking, you know. Another little uh, head from Nolan, who wipes his uh, forehead, as well off his forehead. Uh, Braithwaite again has another attempt, pretty similar to the first one, no real hassle for Adrian, he just bats it away. Uh, now into the second half, the first half ends up 1-0, no, nothing else really happens. Um, and there's Carroll having a head, 
But we do get another attempt from Sadado this time, who uh, hasn't left for some reason to buy Munich, so I play him with his first, last game in his first shirt. Uh, and here's where I screw up so many times, where I'm button mashing and I end up passing it to a defender right near a forward. But anyway, our first attempt does come. Sadado passes it to Paulinho, he takes a good shot. But unfortunately, Adrian saves it. However, Sardo flicks it, and straight away, Palinio heads a strong header into the back of the net, which uh, is quite ironic how Eriksen scores um, an own goal, and then Palinio scores the goal for us. Bearing in mind, Palinio is probably the worst of the signings, and Eriksen's the best. But they kept attacking, however, it, that's how it finishes. Ends up finishing 1 0, which I would have taken really, you know, considering the attempt. Had. There's uh, Lloris, clearly pissed off with the defence. Um, and yeah, I was pretty happy with the result in the end, considering we probably deserved to be at least, you know, 2 1 down. So, yeah. So, episode, episode we get confirmation that Bongali Kamalo and Sadado sold, uh, going to Bayern Munich. And we then get confirmation that Manu accept the offer for Yanazai. So, we give him a squad rotation role. Um, and 40k a week for his contract. And he then accepts that. So, we accept him straight away into the club. And finally, we go in for one more signing which is of course Benteke with our second attempt to try and get him after we sort of failed with the first one. But this time I offer in Adibayo with the um, offer for ben Benteke uh, plus 8 mil. So see where that goes and you know hopefully Sherwood would accept that because seeing as uh, they had a good relationship at Tottenham, him and Daddy Bayo. So I eventually submit that offer. And surprisingly, the Villa come back and accept that offer. So we go through to his contract. We give him a crucial player role, 80k a week, 5% bonus. And, you know, see where that goes. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. A uh, little test to count how many times I said, um, yeah, I said, um, and and uh, what was the other one I kept saying? I kept saying another word. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and subscribe for more.